Now the next rule is rule of substitution. For definite integration. Let f of a to b tends to r, that is the real value, be a continuous function and g of alpha to beta tends to a to b be increasing or decreasing function. And let x is equal to g of t is continuous in alpha to beta and differentiable in alpha to beta open interval and also derivative of g that is g dash t is continuous in alpha to beta open interval and g dash t is not equal to 0 for all t belongs to open interval alpha to beta and a is equal to g of alpha and b is equal to g of beta then a to b f of x dx is equal to alpha to beta f of gt replace x by gt g dash t dt here we see g dash t is continuous in alpha to beta because as the variable change by some function or substitute x by some function then we replace its limit depending upon that function so that function will be continuous in the new range that is alpha to beta. So this is a substitution rule to find the integration of definite integral. Now we are going to solve some problem which are based on substitution rule. So the first problem is evaluate 1 to 9 dx over x plus under root x. Solution is that i is equal to 1 to 9 dx over x plus under root x. Let under root x is equal to t. That is x is equal to t square. That implies dx is equal to 2t dt. That is x is equal to gt and dx is equal to g dash t dt. So what is g alpha? When x is equal to 1, t is equal to 1. And when x is equal to 9, t is equal to under root 9 means t. And as we see that x is equal to gt is equal to t square is increasing in alpha to beta and differentiable in alpha to beta and g dash t that is 2t is not equal to 0 
in 1 2 3 interval open interval so here alpha is equal to 1 and beta is equal to 3 therefore by substitution rule we have i is equal to 1 2 3 2 t dt over t square plus t that is we get 1 2 3 2 t dt over t into t plus 1 in the denominator. So we get 1 2 3 2 dt over 1 plus t. That is i is equal to 1 2 3. 2 dt is equal over 1 plus t that gives 2 times log of 1 plus t range is from 1 to 3. So we get 2 times log of 1 plus t is equal to 4 minus log of 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. So that is f of b minus f of a by fundamental principle of integration. So log m minus log n is equal to log m over n. So we get value of i is 2 log 2. This is done by method of substitution to find the definite integration. Now the next problem on the basis of substitution rule is evaluate integral i that is ranging from 0 to pi by 2 dx over 2 cos x plus 4 sin x. So we have to find the integration. If we see and we remember then we have we know in such type of problem, we have to replace cos and sin by tangent formula. So we know cos x, that is cos 2x, is equal to 1 minus tan square x by 2 over 1 plus tan square x by 2, that is angle half. 1 minus tan square x by 2 over 1 plus tan square x by 2 and sin x is equal to 2 tan x by 2 over 1 plus tan square x by 2 and we will substitute further let tan x by 2 is equal to t that gives derivative of tan x by 2 is secant square x by 2 and differentiation of x by 2 is half dx is equal to dt. So we get dx is equal to 2 dt over secant square x by 2. That is dx is equal to 2 dt over 1 plus tan square x by 2. That is dx is equal to 2 dt over 1 plus t square. So what is the value of alpha and beta? As the range of x is from 0 to pi by 2. So when x is equal to 0, tan 0 is equal to t. That is t is equal to 0. And when x is equal to pi by 2 so tan pi by 2 is equal to t here tan x by 2 that is tan pi by 4 it is 1 therefore t is equal to 1 so alpha is 0 and beta is 1 so by substitution rule that is i becomes alpha to beta replacing dx by 2 dt 
over 1 plus t square and cos function by 2 1 minus t square over 1 plus t square plus 4 times 2t over 1 plus t square that is the value of sine and cos in terms of tan and then in terms of t. So we get 0 to 1 2 dt over 2 into 2 minus 2t two square plus 8t. 1 plus t square is cancel outwards with this 1 plus t square. So we get 0 to 1 2 dt over 2 is common out 1 minus t square plus 4t. Therefore we get 0 to 1 dt over 1 minus t square plus 4t. So here we will make the square form that is 0 to 1 dt over 1 minus in the bracket t square minus 4t that is half the coefficient of t that is minus 4 whole square that is 2 that is plus 4 and minus 4 in the bracket to make it perfect square so 0 to 1 dt over 1 minus up to this t plus 2 whole square that is a square plus b square minus 2ab t minus 2 whole square minus minus plus 4 so we get 0 to 1 dt over 5 minus t minus 2 whole square so we get i is equal to 0 to 1 dt over under root 5 whole square minus t minus 2 whole square that is 1 upon a square minus x square. So its formula is 1 over 2a log a plus x over a minus x. That is ranging from 0 to 1. As 1 by 2 root 5 is constant quantity, so we will take it out. So now, that is f of b minus f of a. So f of b is log of under root 5 plus 1 minus 2. Under root 5 minus 1 plus 2 minus log of under root 5 minus 2 and under root 5 plus 2 on putting the value of t is equal to 0. So we get 1 over 2 root 5 log of under root 5 minus 1 over under root 5 plus 1 minus log of under root 5 minus 2 over under root 5 plus 2. So that is a required value of we are going to find out. If you want to find out further we can take log m in log m over n. Otherwise we will do it up to that. So log m over n means that is m over n that will be in the worst order. So what we will do, we will do product of these two terms that is in the denominator and that are in the numerator. So root 5 into 5 is 5 plus 2 root 5 minus root 5 minus 2 over 5 minus 2 root 5 plus root 5 minus 2. So we get as a whole value of i is 1 by 2 root 5 log of 5 minus 2 is 3 2 root 
5 minus root 5 is plus root 5 over 5 minus 2 is 3 and minus 2 root 5 plus root 5 is minus root 5. This is the value of integral i over the integration 0 to pi by 2 of dx over 2 cos x plus 4 sin x by making the substitution rule.